hey guys welcome to my channel today i'm gonna be showing you how to create this broken doll halloween look so let's just get into it so i'm starting with priming my face using the pore filler from nyx cosmetics and i'm following up with my nars natural radiant foundation i'm using this foundation because i wanted to have full coverage but at the same time that it looked very flawless because we are creating a doll makeup and we're actually going to do a super beautiful makeup but we're going to make the, we're gonna give it a little twist with the broken parts so I'm also going to be heavily contouring my face using the milk makeup contour stick and as you can see I went pretty high on the size of my face because I really wanted to accentuate the hollows under my cheekbones and next I'm filling in my brows using this brow powder duo from Sigma Beauty and I'm just going to speed up through the brows because you guys have seen me do my brows quite often. But then we're going to go ahead and use some concealer. And I'm using the NYX Cosmetics Can Stop One Stop Concealer. I have been obsessed with this concealer because it gives me great coverage. But at the same time, it feels super lightweight. So as you can see, I don't even use a lot of it. So... Obviously, we're just using it under the eyes, on the nose, a little bit in the center of the forehead, and also on my chin, and just blending everything away. I'm going to be applying some loose translucent setting powder underneath the eyes to prevent any fallout. And I'm using this NYX Cosmetics Ultimate Edit Eyeshadow Palette. This is in the shade Ultimate Utopia. And as you can see, I already did one of the eyes. So we're going to be recreating the same on this eye that I'm going to show you. And I'm starting off with this beautiful deep mauve shade in the palette. These little palettes are so pigmented, you guys, and the shadows blend so easily. So we're just going to be applying this all over the crease. And as you can see, I'm trying to create a cat eye shape with my blending brush. I just love this shape. I always feel that it elongates the eyes and I just really like how it makes my eyes look. I'm going to be applying the same shadow all along the lower lash line and you guys know this but I always like to apply it with a very flat brush like this one and then I go in with a super petite and tiny blending brush to blend everything away. Next I'm using this deep plum shade and I'm applying it on the outer part of the eyelid but as you can see I'm trying to concentrate the shade only on the lower part of the eyelid it's almost going to create like a little shadow and it's also helping with the cut eye effect and I'm also bringing this plump shade on the lower lash line but the same just concentrating it on the outer part of the eye and lastly I'm using this rose gold shade and I'm applying it with my finger all over the center of the eyelid and as you can see it creates such a beautiful foil effect next I'm using this NYX Cosmetics Epic Ink Liner to create my wing eyeliner and I'm just trying to do it as sharp as possible um, I kind of feel like a doll definitely has to have a super sharp eyeliner so that's what I'm going for here and I also decided to extend it on the tear duct a little bit just to elongate the eyes I'm applying some mascara but it doesn't really matter because I went ahead and applied some falsies you definitely want your eyes to be very dramatic and now all we have to do is finish the rest of the face makeup Everything is going to be pretty standard, so I went ahead and I used a bronzer from Laura Mercier. I used this uh, baby pink blush from NYX Cosmetics, and I also top it with this Laura Mercier face illuminator that has a rose gold tone. And before we move on to anything else, I'm going to go ahead and set my makeup with this matte setting spray from NYX Cosmetics. And I always do my lipstick after, so I'm just using this lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury and this 
Lipstick from NYX Cosmetics. I'm gonna list everything on my description box down below so that you guys can check out the shades and all the products that I use on this video. And honestly, just as a side note, I will rock this makeup look just for any day. I absolutely love how everything came out. But now let's go ahead and let the transformation begin so i wanted to create a ballerina broken doll look but i hate having my hair on a bun so that's why i'm calling this look a broken doll look you get me so i'm using something else since i wanted to have a a lot of hair so i went ahead and put my hair on a ponytail and i'm actually using one of these um fake ponytails hair extensions from insert here i believe is the brand super easy to apply and i absolutely love how my hair looked this way so that's what i'm doing here you can totally do the bun and whatever you want but this is just the idea that i had in my mind i guess and i really like the way it turned out and as far as the outfit um I literally just use this, uh, it's like a corset thing that I have from Adore Me and I thought that it was very fitting. I went ahead and I put on some pearl earrings and also this pearl necklace and I thought everything tied out really well for the look. But anyways, now for the fun part, I'm going to be using this Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean from NYX Cosmetics and I'm actually using a angle brush to draw the broken pieces on the face. You can totally be creative as much as you like. I went ahead and I did some broken parts on my forehead and another tiny piece above my other brow. You can totally only do like a little section. You can do more or less. You can totally customize it however you want. But I found it very easy to just draw the, you know, the general shapes of the broken areas. And then you will see that I'm actually using a blending brush to blend and fill in the little broken areas with the same black bean pencil. This pencil is super easy if you want to create more Halloween idea similar to this it was very creamy to use very easy to blend out but yeah that's basically everything that i did i'm just gonna go ahead and spit it out from here so that you can watch how i did it i thought it was a super cute idea if you want to have a you know a nice and cute makeup look but at the same time you want to give it the halloween spin so i'm really pleased how this look came out So that is the final look. I hope that you enjoyed the video and that you liked this Halloween look. Let me know in the comments down below if you are dressing up for Halloween. I know that things are different this year, but I just wanted to have fun and play around with some makeup. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.